Hi guys, it's Femi here. So today I'm going to be exposing the transhumanism agenda as well as the alien invasion agenda and conditioning uh, in K-pop using two specific music videos from um, two groups. One is Vix and the other is Twice. Um, what prompted this, because uh, I was actually going to make a different video, but what prompted this was an article that was released December 19th that says France, China, developing biologically engineered super soldiers. And it's just, you know, because um, whatever the mainstream media releases as far as um, what is being released technologically, the plans of the world, like world leaders, just know that they already have that technology fully ready to go. They're just announcing it now. It's nothing that they're doing now. They're not developing it now. They already have it. Okay, they're already doing this. They've already been working on this. So this is just more conditioning for you guys. But trust and believe that they already have this so-called super super soldiers ready. And it also brings to mind Vladimir Putin, who is the Russian leader, right? He gave a speech like um, to some students, and in his speech, he was talking about genetically modified superhuman soldiers and he was quote-unquote warning about it well he's warning about it but he's also going to use it because <laughs> he also he gave an interview saying that whichever nation has the best tech will be the strongest nation and will end up being the global leader right so you see here it says vladimir putin and this is 2017 vladimir putin warns about genetically modified soldiers so let's watch. Значит, что человек приобретает возможность влезать в генетический код, созданный или природой, или люди с религиозными взглядами говорят Господом Богом. Последствия практически какие из этого могут наступить? Это значит, что уже можно это представить, даже не очень теоретически, а уже может, можно практически представить, что человек может создавать человека с заданными характеристиками. Это может быть гениальный математик, это может быть гениальный музыкант, но может быть и военный, человек, который может воевать без страха и без, без чувства сострадания, сожаления и без боли. То есть, вы понимаете, человечество может вступить, и скорее всего вступит в ближайшее время, в очень сложный и очень ответственный период своего развития и существования. И вот то, о чем я сейчас сказал, может быть страшнее ядерной бомбы. Когда мы что-то делаем, и чем бы мы ни занимались, хочу повторить эту мысль еще раз, мы никогда не должны забывать про нравственные, этические основы нашего дела. So let's read this article. Just two weeks after it was announced China was developing biologically enhanced super soldiers, France has joined the fray in creating Terminator troops that can be bred to kill, according to a new report. Last week, France gave the go-ahead for augmented soldiers and some fear the super troopers could be the new norm in the recent future. The French seek to improve physical, cognitive, perceptive and psychological capacities and could allow for location tracking or connectivity with weapon systems and other soldiers. Among the ministry's research were drugs to keep tro troops awake for long periods of time and combat stress and even surgery to improve hearing. The new species of augmented soldiers, dubbed Homo robocopus, could also have altered DNA to give them enhanced speed and strength as well as robotics. Michael Clark, visiting professor in war studies at King's College London, told The Sun participating could be using DNA as a farmer would in a herd of cattle. We've reached the point now where we could potentially manipulate people's DNA to breed into them extra strength, endurance and other things just as we do with animals. So these people are playing gold, okay? Clark said, Just as we've done with standard cattle to give them more back, 
We can do that now very precisely with humans. Clark added that the bio race is being fueled internationally due to fears of China's program. What they are all thinking about, what they are all thinking about is what might come up in 30 years time given another 10 years development and experimentation, Clark told the paper. The Chinese in 30 years time might have might have a cohort of people who are 20 years old who've got particular characteristics that might have tried to breed into them by manipulating DNA. So they're just trying to use China as an excuse. But the truth of the matter is all the world leaders, because remember, the, Illum the, the Illuminati controls the world, right? Satan uses the Illuminati to control the global leaders who control their respective nations. So it is the Illuminati controlling the world and funding all these technological industries and all this um, tech research and everything in this bar race it is the Illuminati funding it if you do the research. So it's not a coincidence, it's because in the in Great Tribulation, Satan is trying to raise up a satanic army, like his satanic army, right, for the Antichrist, because it is the Antichrist and the satanic army that are going to fight Christ. Remember, the satanic army are going to be humans fused with, what, a chip. So they are going to be fused with technology and they are also going to be demon possessed because like I said in the great tribulation demons will be allowed to manifest and they are going to come into the earth as aliens and they are going to possess a lot of people they are going to possess people that aren't saved that don't have Christ that don't accept Christ in that time and you see later on down in the article where the first thing they mention as to the steps is that there's a brain chip implant in these soldiers right so let's carry on. Due to DNA manipulation, future soldiers could also be immune to disease and feelings. Immune to disease and feelings. In other words, once they are merged with that tech, they are no longer humans. That's the bottom line. They are no longer what God made. Because there's something in there that changes their DNA. You know? You know, DNA is a language. And it's God that, that made the DNA. It's God that wrote that language. So who gave man the right? To try and change it, especially for a satanic, satanic, ah, like it's deep. A recent report by the International Society for Military Ethics in Europe, obtained by the Sun, reveals a dystopic arena full of bionic men capable of fighting all the time. Enhanced soldiers will be reduced to bionic men who run fast, do not sleep, eat, and drink very little. And can fight all the time, the report states. A new species is born, Homo robocopus. This is exactly what happened to Captain America. He became a bionic man. I guess the only the only thing because it's a movie, he had quote unquote feelings. But the reality is that when when the real humans are injected with this, is to it will erase their feelings. That's the reality. Sir Lo Lawrence Friedman. Professor of War Studies at KCL told the Sun robotics are more of our more importance. There are people going back into combat in ways they wouldn't have been able to before because prosthetics have been improved. You can use Google Glasses. There's lots of things you can now do with a modern soldier that makes them much more effective than they were in the past. If you want people to act just according to orders, going into great danger the other trend you can see is that that is pretty active at the moment is drones autonomous vehicles and so on while france claims it will abide by humanitarian law french armed forces minister florence Pali warned we have to be clear not everyone has the same scruples as us and we have to prepare ourselves for such a future she said so they're just pretending to be like you know um, to do to, to do this with some kind of morality or ethics but the truth is that they don't care about ethics they don't care about morality which is why they want the whole world to be cheap because they are all all these people are working for Satan you know they are all working for Satan they don't love God they don't know God they don't care about Christ so once you don't have Christ you are an open vessel for for the devil to use you for his agenda for his for to do his will and stuff so they don't even know that they are fulfilling Bible prophecy in doing all these things, engaging in all these things. But they are trying to 
make the whole world i know like how i, I, I mentioned in one of my previous videos because i said satan knows the bible right and he always tries to stop bible prophecy he can't stop bible prophecy but he he tries right so he thinks that before the rapture happens he can cause the whole world um to first of all get vaccinated which is a precursor to the mark of the beast and condition them and, and, and put things in there where but because once you take once you take the vaccine and all the things that are in the vaccine you can't reverse it right there's no reversing that so what that what that does is that that sets you up for the the true mark of the beast which is and uh, will be an upgrade will be an upgrade of the vaccine to a chip like a chip that has not only just like your medical and health information but your financial information without which you cannot work you cannot buy and sell you cannot go to school you cannot join society you cannot go online you cannot do anything that will be also tied to the worship of the antichrist the chip right so they are trying to market this right now as something good some something to just enhance humanity because what they what they want the world to believe is that once you merge with technology once you merge with the chip you'll be indestructible you you live forever you won't have diseases you won't be sick anymore this and that and that's their counterfeit version of immortality of eternal life thinking that you never die and they can transfer consciousness from one one person to another or from one body to another because in the midst of this they're also creating robots right and they are doing experiments to try to transfer human consciousness to those robots you know they're making humanoid robots and trying to to transfer human consciousness to them you know they're they're trying to play god that's basically what they're doing but it's all for this end times satanic agenda you know so it's it's bigger than what you see here it's it's really deep here's some of the tech in progress to create homo robocopus according to the sun Remember, they're saying in progress, but they already have these things in the background. But it's not yet time. It's not yet time to reveal what they have, you know, because they are waiting for the rapture to happen. They are waiting for alien invasion. They are waiting for the antichrist to be revealed. So there is a lot that they are waiting for. Brain microchips. This is where Elon Musk comes in, because he's like at the forefront of producing this brain microchips, right? Which is Neuralink. Um, tech and all that brain microchips France has been giving the all clear to develop microchips to enhance soldier brain power bionic eyes being developed in Hong Kong this gives users infrared and night vision so basically you have superpowers remember I told you technology will be mixed with demonic possession during the great tribulation right people that get this chip they will also be demon possessed so they will have powers they will have powers, but their so-called powers will be, make them feel like they are superheroes, right? So they will, they will feel like they are gods, they are indestructible, and they've reached the peak of human evolution. That's what they are going for, like that's they are trying to reach the peak of godhood, the peak of human evolution, and it's the same lie that Satan told Adam and Eve in the garden, ye shall be as gods. Since that time, he's been using the same lie to deceive man, making people think that they can be as gods so let's carry on super hearing the us's tactical communication and protective system a smart earbuds which boost soldiers hearing to be near superhuman health impact implant darpa the pentagon's research arm is developing cyborg implants to monitor combat efficiency so you see the u the us has already Basically, they are even admitting that the U.S. already has their own their own system in place for this program. They have their own program of, of cyborgs that they've been developing. But the truth is, they've already developed the cyborgs. Not that they are developing them; they've already done it. It's done. They are just now letting the world know for conditioning, because by the time they introduce to you the the, the real mark of the beast, the chip, 
you have to be so programmed and conditioned to believe that it will be a good thing and all these people that love technology now you can't wait to upgrade your phone you can't wait to upgrade your computer you can't wait to upgrade this and that you are waiting for the latest tech tech the latest video game with the with the newest technological advancement the newest this like they make they make people love technology and they they purposefully release technology and anything tied to it like phones in stages so that it always needs to be upgraded 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 and the ultimate upgrade is going to be the mark but by that time by the time the mark is 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 mandated on on a global scale you'll be so conditioned and you 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 desire an upgrade like not you guys but like the world they will desire an upgrade for what they already have in their system whether it's the vaccine or whatever it is they'll be begging for it they want to be upgraded you know so it's all conditioning. It's conditioning. Enhanced limb, limbs. A DEVCOM report revealed plans to equip US soldiers with enhanced limb, limbs for increased strength. Exoskeleton legs. The US Army has tested an exoskeleton which can be attached to soldiers' legs and increase their productivity by up to 27 times. Synthetic blood. Respirocyte is a theoretical red blood cell that could help soldiers not get out of breath and stay underwater for hours. So they'll be able to do things that are physically impossible, right? So they will feel really indestructible. Pain immunity, DAPA's persistence in combat, in combat initiative would allow soldiers to have their pain suppressed for 30 days. News France news france china developing biologically engineered super soldiers report via partners new york post so like i said because it's an agenda they already put it in movies you know they already put it in movies articles for years you've already been conditioned with video games and movies and music videos and all these things the idea of putting in your head the idea of merging with technology to become a super human an evolved human and of course, in the movie Robocop, for instance, like they show that you can be, you can do these things for quote unquote good reason. In Robocop, a cop merges with technology, technology to become like the ultimate policeman, which is a Robocop, which is he's enhanced with with technology, and he's you know he can break walls, he can do this, he can do that. You know, so it's all conditioned, and they think make you think that you can do good things. You know, because when you watch these superhero movies, what are they doing? They're doing good deeds, right? They're saving lives. They're fighting evil, evil villains. They're preserving peace. So, they're using these powers for quote-unquote good deeds. But that is part of the deception. You know, the devil is a liar. But, like I said, it's all conditioning. And that brings me to the K-pop music videos that I'm going to show you guys in a bit. So the agenda, because it's a global agenda and it's the Illuminati funding and controlling the entertainment, the media, every aspect of communication in this world, they put it in music videos. <laughs> they put it in everything. So you are going to see here in Vic's mu music video called Error, the agenda at play. So let's watch. So we see discarded robotic body parts rendering so he's working on a robotic body Merging their bodies with machinery and technology. So they are dead, right? And he's trying to bring them alive by transferring their consciousness or their soul to this um, robot versions of themselves. So there's probably chips in their brains and then they'll be merged with machinery, technology, to give them new life.
and you see that symbol on the right side of the room right like a cube intersecting a triangle with about three or four triangles within that very satanic so this year she's supposed to be his dead girlfriend um, who he's also trying to bring to life by merging with technology he's trying to use science and technology to resurrect the dead of course it's impossible only god can resurrect the dead right so basically he's playing god using science to play god which is what is happening in real life but this is conditioning right so they want you to think that with technology you will never die either you will be able to come back to life or you'll be able to bring a dead loved one to life by transferring their their, their consciousness to a new body or by merging them with technology so they are resurrected so one nice symbolism right there However, my focus is more on the storyline than the choreography, but I will give some commentary on the choreography and the rest of the dance. So he's having a flashback memory of his relationship with his girlfriend, right? Oh, what is that right there? The devil horns and you see um ken at the back um, on the left side he's um the the member's name right there is ken and he's covering one eye so he's doing the one eye symbolism and he's doing the devil horns and the person in the middle his name is leo he's also doing with his hairstyle one eye symbolism and they're all doing devil horns and then you see the gender blurring with the, all the makeup like look at this guy um his name is hyok at the left front left with the eyeliner look at his his eyeliner for crying out loud eyeshadow and eyeliner so they are like doing gender blurring as well and you can even see on, Le on leo look at his lip gloss so like it always <laughs> like it's deep but anyway let's carry on so devil hands so we, we already know what is drive the driving force behind this agenda right this agenda that you are promoting in their envy it's a satanic agenda well, look what happens here so this guy kneeling he's supposed to start dying so he dies and he's resurrected when they all combine their demonic powers so with demonic powers they are able to resurrect him and when you see his eyes you see that oh he's actually not fully human because you see um the robotic part his eyes he becomes half human half robot so from them merging their powers he's not only demonic possessed because you cannot actually transfer soul consciousness there's not there's it doesn't exist right so it's demonic possession <coughs> so they become demonic possessed as they also become robotic so he's resurrected with sorcery right electricity sorcery so the electrical the electrical sword was supposed to show his he, him being re resurrected and him being possessed with their powers and you can see um with the picture that this guy He's already a scientist, right? He's already a scientist. You can even see Star Trek and you can see the different machinery parts. So they, are, they want us to know that he was already, like before his relationship or during his relationship, whatever, he was already a scientist. He was already working on trying to bring his friends back to life while his, his, his girlfriend was still alive. So he was just like busy with his, his work. And he didn't have time for her, so she would like mope around and whatever. He was so busy. I mean, he looks he looks like a black chicken. Like, I don't even know what this is supposed to be that he's wearing, honestly. Just looks like a chicken to me. 
So he's consoling her, reassuring her that he loves her. This is supposed to be some kind of futuristic outfit, but he just looks stupid to me, honestly. <laughs> he just looks stupid. <laughs> ah! Man. So this is him mourning. Okay, one eye symbolism right there, but this is him mourning right after his girlfriend dies. Like. Cause I, I I was a fan of Vix, right? Well, during my time as a K-popper, so like I've seen all their videos several times. In fact, I used to make FMVs with Vix. I made a lot of FMVs with Vix. Crying with one nice symbolism. Okay, I see. So this is while she was sick or something. She was sick and dying. Like, who cries trying to be sexy at the same time? So stupid. Like, are you mourning or not, bro? So you have the, the illum uh, illumination. He's illuminated. So that's Masonic blindfold right there. Uh, look at the all. Look at the occult symbolism behind them. Like I'm telling you, this this, oh, this industry is so satanic. These idols are possessed. <sighs> they are deep into the occult, deep into witchcraft. Deep in it. But the fans are too blinded by how good looking they are, whatever. Look at the eyeliner! <sighs> so, we see that um, here it is revealed that he himself is not even human to begin with. So, it's like, as a scientist, he had experimented on himself and I guess he was successful in emerging himself with technology, healing him healing himself with technology and he was that was when he, he he knew that um that was when he thought to himself that he could save his his friends and his his loved one via via merging them with technology and you can see here here this is a memory flash it seems like he may have lost part of his memory which is what he's remembering right here in this scene 
memory flashes which is you know what that's what happens in satanic ritual abuse as well when they because in satanic ritual abuse they are also experimented on right and induced with different drugs and different things so when they wake up from their experiments a lot of times they have blackouts and memory loss and stuff like that and then the memory their memory starts to return like in flashes but they never really feel the gaps like there's always there'll be flashes but there's too much too much of a, a blackout too much of a, a a blank there let's carry on so as he's remembering that he's, he, he sees that his experiment on his girlfriend was successful and he's able to restore her to life with technology So they are trying to make us feel compassion for people that <laughs> for this idea like oh people people that have been merged with technology um this are, like they are not really humans but they want you to believe that they are lovable they are the same as humans and and they should be they should be taken care of they should be um integrated as part of society as as regular humans and stuff because the, the end game is eventually they will be the evolved humans they are the ones that are going to be the cream of the crop in humanity and the regular people are going to be subhuman So you can see here, this is the scientist himself, and he's showing here that he's actually one of them. <laughs> Once again, he's showing here that he's one of them. Like you guys don't understand the lengths, lengths and depths that the devil will go to to condition and program this world. You know, he needs his satanic army to fight Christ. His demon possessed cyborg army with the Antichrist as the leader. And you know like it's already it's already a normal thing to see this agenda in movies in comics in video games but i wanted to show you that it's also in k-pop because of course even though i knew about these things when i was a k-pop fan i was so blinded because i wasn't working in the spirit and i wasn't working in obedience to god's will for my life so like i was blinded from even really really coming to terms with like what these people are doing is an agenda they're just playing their role in satan's uh, end, end times agenda I just ignored all that because I love the members I love the music and there's this stronghold that comes upon you when you're a k-pop fan and a k-drama fan like entertainment in general but specifically Korean entertainment there's just this demonic stronghold in Korean entertainment So he's downloading her memories, right? Her memories of when she was in relationship with him. Because the robot is just, it's not a human being, right? The, room, the robot itself has no memories. So he has to transfer his dead girlfriend's soul or consciousness in which her memories are stored into this cyborg.
so after the download which is only possible because she has a chip in her brain is able to now remember So now they can enjoy their, their happy cyborg relationship because neither of them is human anymore. But now, even though they are not human, the message they are trying to condition us with is that even when you become a cyborg, you still have the ability to love and have feelings and care for another human being. I know love. The ability to love is one of the peaks of being human, right? The ability to love. And once you change, stop from being human, you lose that God-given ability to love. It's one of the many things that you lose. So it's like, they're telling you here, no, you, you won't lose that ability. You'll be able to love yourself. You'll be able to love others. You know, you because you pretty much be the same. It's to just be an enhanced version of yourself, which is a lie. You won't be human anymore. And you'll be filled with love, you'll be filled with hate and destruction and murderous intentions because at that point in time, you'll also be possessed. You become a vessel for demons. To inhabit. So this is supposed to be government agents found out about his secret experiments and tracked them down. And I'm taking his, his, his cyborg girlfriend. Oh, so his super strength is able to. <laughs> he suddenly remembered that, oh, he's part machine and he's super strong and he's able to fight them off. His super strength. It's like, yeah, whatever, bro. A dream inside a dream. Where have you guys heard that before?
Inception. The movie Inception. Dream inside the dream. That's what I'm telling you. Like the whole thing is conditioning. You know, K-pop music videos is just another vehicle for the devil to condition people for the same agenda they show in movies, in, in, in video games, in, in TV shows, the same satanic agenda. The demon possessed all of them. All is all the lie that remains in me. So quote unquote they are committing suicide together <laughs> by being taken apart. Just nasty. We are saying that if we can't be together in real life, if we can't be together and live free and love each other freely, we'll love each other in death. So we'll die together and our love will remain. You know, it's satanic, satanic. That is not, that is not how love works. That is not how love works. Because God is love. So if you want to know how love works, look at God and read, read his words, understand his love. It's so nasty. Yeah. So here yeah, they begin to unplug themselves. Of course, the same way they started. They started out with demonic powers and using using demonic powers, being possessed and being merged with technology. And now they're unplugging and they are being unpossessed like the, the, the demonic possession is coming out but of course that's not what happens in real life right in real life the demons just stay in you they, are, they can only be cast out and they can only be cast out by the name and blood of jesus so you have the devil horns there to signify that the demons are coming out but they are not coming out because the so-called soul that inhabited the robotic part is what is where the demons inhabit right so the demons are coming out And that's how they were taken apart till they remain nothing but their hearts, which symbolize like their hearts were merged together, their robotic hearts, right? Which symbolize their union in love, robotic love. But of course, that's just satanic, satan's counterfeit. And Satan cannot love, of course. I don't say a machine, you're not even the same, you're not a human being. Once your DNA, your DNA is altered. So that's the end of this video. So let's go to twice. Okay, so the first thing we see is a crop circle. And I don't know if you, maybe some of you know this, but crop circles, they actually exist in different parts of the world. And although some are fake, some are real and some have been there for thousands of years and if you listen to testimonies of former occultists or satanists they tell you that these crop circles happen when demons are summoned you know where there's a ritual there's a there's a satanic ritual and then the demons are summoned and when they are summoned it's the demons that create these crop circles okay so this right here already shows you that um, the, twice they are in an environment where there has been demonic activity now in this environment where there is demonic activity what are they looking up to and you can see even on her shirt look at look at pentagram 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 which is baphomet 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 oh, let's carry on
so they are within they are right in the center of the crop circle so they are part of the demonic you know it's like they are the ones that even summon this these demons that we're about to see so due to their own demonic activity that went down here something has manifested due to the summon something and we're about to see what the summon and it's like when the what they summoned has caused them to pass out because they, they drain their they drain their energy you know witchcraft is all about energy and all that so they must have used all their satanic energy and force to summon this huge huge manifestation this whole thing is demonic i know it's no coincidence that they specifically chose to um, film this beginning with a crop circle after a crop circle what's the next thing that happens an alien appears right a demon you know aliens are demons so a demon manifests and not only does the demon manifest the demon goes to school with them okay so the demon is living amongst them and they <laughs> like it's deep and this whole music video is conditioning uh, to show you that when the aliens invade earth oh they're just friendly beings like look at look at uh, what's her name i forgot her name i used to be a twice fan but like after god delivered me like i struggled to remember some of their names honestly um what's her name anyway she she's doing the the moon signal right moon goddess worship signal so okay so they're in a school environment obviously with school uniforms and stuff right and of course everything is cutesy and colorful and just you know cheerful looking and what did they see they have a new classmate a new arrival in school a non-human entity in school uniform And they are so happy to see this demon. <sighs> Man. They are so happy and they are instantly attracted to this demon. Look at. They are giving him love signs and heart signs. Because in, in Korean culture, this this all this that they are doing means that they, they are sending love to, to someone. So they are sending him love signals, right? And we see here. Oh, did you see that? So let's see. She can run super fast, okay. And something happens. She just moved the atmosphere. She's trying to seduce the demon. Imagine that. She's trying. So she has a superpower because. You know, like I said, there are witches, they've already done the ritual, right? And it's only witch witches that do satanic rituals. So that's already established that they are witches. But you can see here with their witchcraft power. So this girl is called Momo. Her witchcraft power is that she's super fast. And she, she's trying to... And look at this one, I've forgotten her name as well. She's trying to bend time and space. And in all this, they are trying to use their powers to seduce this alien, right? Because they have fallen in love with the alien and they're trying to make the alien fall in love with them. So they're trying to cast love spells on the alien. But remember, the alien is a demon. So the alien too has his own powers, but he doesn't really show his powers. So in the midst of all that, they're dancing and doing all this stuff. But the main message is to get you conditioned. You see, sorcery and demonic possession. It's deep. Because in real life, do people have powers? No. But satanic witches and all, this, all these people, when they practice occult techniques and occult chants, occult practices, they get demonic powers, right? But they, they think they're just strong, you know, the demons are helping them. But no, the demons are using them as vessels to do, to do satan's work. They're possessed. They're possessed. Anyone that practices witchcraft is a witch, whether they call themselves a witch or they just call themselves, a, a, you know, uh, whatever it is, they, because they, they all have different names. So obviously her, her sorcery isn't working on the alien. And you have here another member. I believe her name is Juhyun. She was actually my bias in Twice. I can barely, barely remember their names anymore. 
So she's trying to win him over with cute faces and being funny. Because I, I believe she's supposed to be like the funny one in the group, but he's not impressed. And she's like, oh, you're breaking my heart. Oh. So they make them, you know, they're doing witchcraft, but they're making the girls cute and, you know, cute and, and, and you can't help but feel like, oh, they're so cute and adorable. How, look, look, look at her past. She's moving things with her mind. So that's telekinesis. Even though she's making the hand motion, she's actually moving them with her, her mind, not her hand. But it's like, people follow this these k-pop groups and they don't understand like these people most of them are into the occult hmm? maybe they didn't start out willingly but eventually ex especially the most successful groups and, and, and individual singers they love the fame look at one eye symbolism okay they love the fame and they become willing vessels for demons So she's the leader, she's the leader of Twice, Jihyo. So she's trying to give him love signs. And trying to be cute. They're all witches. It's crazy. But you see, she too has a bionic eye. Isn't that interesting? Then you have, um, what's her, forgotten her name as well. Her power is in her pen. She's trying to put him in a trance, a love trance. Because in the occult, like in MK Ultra, satanic ritual abuse, whenever you use flashing light on someone, you're trying to put them in a trance to hypnotize them and to prepare them as vessels for demonic possession. So you're trying to put them in a trance and then open them up and put spells on them and cause them to be demonically possessed. But obviously it's supposed to make him fall in love with her somehow and he doesn't. So she keeps trying and trying and trying but he doesn't fall in love with her. And it has to you. Cause moon goddess worship sign right here. The pagans. And then they do the horns. They do the baphomet horns. Cause that's another way of doing baphomet horns. Like it's supposed to be a cute way quote unquote. I mean, look at how colorful, pastel color school, right? So, with the pastel, like you're being distracted by the colors. The real agenda is the, in their action, what they are doing. They are, what they are doing is sorcery. Sorcery, falling in love with alien. But you're, you're so blinded by how they are, how cute they are and how, how colorful the scenery, scenery is that you cannot see the larger agenda. That's why it takes the Holy Spirit to... Really let people see what's going on. I guess she can become invisible or something. No invisible, but like she can face through walls. Oh, Dakion. Her name is Dakion. I suddenly remember. So she has multiple copies of herself. Hmm. Of course, these are all altars, you know. These are all altars. Then, I've forgotten this girl's name as well. Is it Chehyun? Or Chehyun? But she's one of the rappers in the group anyway. They just love doing this. This moon sign is so annoying. Look at lightning bolt. Two lightning bolts, blue and red, on her shirt. So you have the duality and you have the lightning bolts, which signify Lucifer. So, like, once again, we know who is really behind this whole agenda. Conditioning so that you fall in love with aliens when they manifest and you'll be scared away. So she's, she's able to freeze time. So if she freezes time and then tries to, I don't know if she's trying to scare the alien, but this, the alien, like, like he uses his powers against her and she can't move her, she can't move herself.
Is this Mina? That's Mina, I believe. Mina was also my boss. Ah, <sighs> the witchcraft of it all. And how do you hear with her one eye? All her, her own power is like one eye symbolism. I don't even know what she's trying to do there. Just one eye, one eye. Okay, you see you girl. So you see someone who is half machine, half human on the left there. With his head being a camera. And the rest of his body human. One number is down the wall. M61. So you see the alien sign there on the at the top. You do... Do you want... Let me see if I can read what it says. Do you want? Do you want? Hmm. Let's see. Okay. The truth of the matter is, we the viewers are the ones who they are trying to cast spells on. That's the whole point. With their songs, with their with their charm. Their performances, their choreography, their stage performances, everything. They try to cast spells on their fans. Not even they're trying, they are, they are casting spells. If you're covered by the blood of Jesus, of course you're, you're protected. But you also have free will. Like if you're not walking in the will of God and you're just being disobedient, you'll be deceived, like you'll be blinded, right? Until you, you come out of that and you know you pray to God to like deliver you because these are strongholds and the devil is always looking for doorways doorways to uh, um, blind um, believers to oppress them to deceive them to manipulate them and by partaking in ungodly things people open open doorways to demons right to demons to to enter their life and, and do all sorts of things sleep paralysis uh, spiritual blindness anger pride anything that is ungodly so that's why you need to be walking and living um, that sanctified life. So they are at the tree house. They followed the, the alien. They stalked him basically. They stalked the alien being. So when people partake of their choreography and they, they learn the choreography and they do it and they sing the songs, they are opening doorways and inviting demons into their lives, right? Because they are incorporating occultic symbols and techniques into their dance, occultic rituals into their dance, which is what like all K-pop groups do, whether they know it or not. Like a lot of their dance infuses occult rituals in, in their choreographies. You know, Satan is slick. He's slick. So it's the music, the music, there's a ritual that they infuse demons in the music. So when people buy the music or listen to the music, they are instantly addicted. They're addicted because sometimes you find that you listen to a K-pop song and you don't necessarily like the song. But after you hear it two times, three times, for some reason you are addicted to the song or the song just sticks in your head. Even though you know you don't like it of your own free will, you don't actually like the song. But it's just in your head, it's stuck in your head. And you can't control that. Demon possessed, of course, with their sorcery. Of course, they're encouraging stalking as well. Stalking is never good, guys. You should never stalk anyone. People that have been 
demon possessed that have come out of it have said that possession feels like an electric surge like electricity flowing through them so they feel very powerful oh we're so innocent we're so cute we're really not trying to seduce you into witchcraft or anything Oh, here we go. So his mothership returns for him and beams him into the ship. The conditioning is deep. And you know, they spend millions of dollars on this music video. So, like, there's a purpose for it. Satan will do whatever he needs to do, use whomever he needs to use to capture the minds of the world, to keep you distracted, to keep you spiritually asleep, to keep you bound, whatever it is to take your eyes off God and your eyes off his word and his calling on your life. Because the truth of the matter is Jesus is coming soon, you know? But there's so much distraction in this world and K-pop is like was such a huge distraction for me but it wasn't just K-pop it was just like K-pop was at the top it wasn't just K-pop K-dramas and stuff like that it was also Bollywood was part of it <laughs> American reality shows as well so it turns out that they too after the, the alien has ascended it is revealed that they too are actually aliens so basically, they two are actually demons, but they are not demons, they are just demon possessed. And we see that they are also trying to make their alien selves look cute or seem cute, you know, to make us think, oh no, no, they're just aliens, so aliens are just so cute. Anyways, so that's it from me, guys. Um, hope you're all blessed. Till next time, bye.